Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Storyline Bakambu card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot tall, medium, medium work rates. Uh, strange work rate to have, so we'll see how he plays in game. Right footed, four star skill with a four star weak foot. In regards to in game player traits, he actually has the finesse shot trait, which is very nice. He's got 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, good base card stats, don't have to improve that. He's got 88, 88, 84, 82 with 80 composure for shooting capabilities, right? So with the finisher chemistry style, boosting it by a 5, 11, 10, 10 um, is going to be very important for his shooting capabilities because he does have the finesse shot trait. Passing on the card for a striker, not bad as, as well with 81 short passing, 78 curve, 79 visions, not terrible. Um, the important thing with this card is obviously going to be, be is going to be boosting his dribbling as much as possible. He does have 88 agility with 77 balance at 82 dribbling. So uh, boosting those areas of the card is definitely going to be very important to make him more usable in the game. You are getting full maximum boost for his dribbling capabilities and you're essentially making his shooting very very good right so in the striker position he should be able to move nicely hopefully the medium medium work rate doesn't affect him too much uh because of the 88 attacking positioning right um 80 composure can be a problem from time to time but it should be all right too uh, he's got 88 jumping, which is kind of nice considering he's a six foot tall player. Uh, 84 stamina, 80 strength with 76 aggression. So this card does also offer you a physical presence because I would assume that he's not a lean body type. It might be an average, but we'll see what that actually looks like in game. But for the sake of the review, we're going to be using the 4231 as we normally do. Uh, we'll use this 4231 here. So four and four, four and four, four and five. And then we're going to have Bakambu up top, Anderson Talishka through the middle, Balassi on one side. I'm going to put uh, Balassi over here while we put Forsberg over there. Switch Paulinho with Alon. This is actually a really cool team, to be honest with you guys. Really, really nice team. Stay back while attacking for the fullbacks. And then stay back while attacking, cut pass lanes for these guys. Everybody come back on these guys. And then for the sake of the review, we will leave him untouched and we'll see if we have to force any instructions out of him. Uh, usually with the 4-2-3-1, again, I always mention to people that in the attackers, uh, I hope that they actually perform better just from their own capabilities and I don't have to force instructions out of them. But uh, we'll see regardless. Does everybody here have 10 chemistry? This is such... Royce, GG's brother, this is the most unique team I've probably seen so far this year. I have. I, nobody uses teams like this. Like This is a team that I would 100% rock with. That's actually so sick. Nice team, man. I, I, I'm, I'm down for that. But um, yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. Royce was letting me know that his dribbling is weird, and I, I don't doubt that. But uh, we're obviously going to take a look at ourselves. Uh, the dribbling's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. I think Acuna got his upgrade, too. This Acuna card's really fun. I'm going to force run out of him here. Like that. First time finesse shots. Lovely stuff. Let's get that, man. Let's get that. Uh, we force a run there. Moves into the opening position really nicely. Nice little finesse shot. We'll take it. This team is just is giving me all the right vibes. I just love when people actually use unique stuff. Pass it off. Attacking AI run. Fake shot. Fake that shot. Fake that shot again. Dribble. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. Um, I don't mind his dribbling so much right now. I mean, his left stick dribbling is actually perfectly fine. It's not super responsive. Obviously, you kind of have to compensate a little bit for it, but it's not heavy by any means. Ooh, that, uh, that part right there where I, I overly extended my acceleration, that's where you feel it dribbling a little bit. It's like those turns, those quick turns, you know? On your weak foot? Eh, generic shot. The initial touch there was poor, I will admit to that. Uh, those touches you really don't want. It's like an emphasis touch. Like you just want it to be like really clean and just come off really quickly. I'm gonna pass that off right there. Dribble a little bit. Croquetta. Oh, he actually scores that opportunity? My boy, he's kind of bopping off for me right now. Look at that, three goals so far.
His dribbling really isn't that bad. Oh, beautiful stuff right there. Time that to perfection. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to get him on his right foot right here. I'm going to try to do a first time fake shot. Might not be able to time this perfectly, but we'll see. There we go. First time. Oof, I got on an angle right there. That sucks. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to try out his dribbling right there. So you can see it's not like super responsive, especially during these uh, engagements that are like really close to defenders. But um, I mean, it's actually perfectly fine. I think the finisher chemistry style is actually helping it out a lot, to be honest. Adjust your run. Okay, he makes that run there. That's perfectly fine. Just wanted to see if he would adjust it. It's not bad that he didn't right there. Ooh, try to get that ball roll angle right there for the finesse shot. Yeah, I like to try out those types of skill moves right there and then go for the instant dribble to see if it would come off nicely. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think his medium medium work rates are affecting the car too much. Near post angle? Oh, that's why you always do the extra shot cancels just to get that little bit of extra space work in there. Yeah, I mean, guys, to be honest with you guys, if you unlock this card and you want to work with certain variables like my boy Royce did over here with this team, he's he's really fun to use, man. I don't think there's a problem. Uh, Fube was a little bit more... Underwhel not underwhelming. He's not underwhelming at all. He's actually better than I thought he would be. Um, but in comparison to the other two upgrades... In regards to concepts you can work with and whatnot, uh, the card's pretty nice. Dribbling was like one of the biggest concerns, I would say, uh, in regards to whether or not it'd be a problem, but I'm not noticing too big of an issue with it. Obviously, in really tight situations, it's not going to be necessarily ideal, but um, other than that, body feints, go in, ball roll, body feints. I mean, it comes off nicely. He is a four-star, four-star player, which definitely helps out a lot. Oh, man, I wish I generated more power behind that strike right there for the near post. Would have been good. Okay, good. He adjusts his run right there. Let's go, Velocity. Nice little goal right there. We'll take that. Um, The medium-medium work rate is noticeable. Like, if it was, like, a high-medium work rate with the types of uh, attacking positioning that he would have, uh, the way that he would utilize empty space would be a little bit different. But the medium-medium work rate that he has, it doesn't affect the card in a really poor way. Like, it still works out really nicely. It's not a, it's not a huge deal at all. I think... It, I, always, I always mention Martial, but I think Martial is the one that has similar work rates. And I just... I hate his attacking AI so much. Some cards get fixed in the, in the future, though. When they get their specific upgrades. This Pacambo card is definitely a card you only use in the striker position, though. Moments like this is where you notice that he's a medium medium. I'm going to force the run right here with him. Go at an angle. Make that pass. First time strike. That's a huge uh, thing this year, by the way, is going at an angle. And then doing that through ball pass. Dribbling you notice more when he's under pressure of any sort, right? Because of the 80 composure. That part you notice. It's a combination of 80 composure and his dribbling stats uh, for those specific ones. I'm going to make him go at an angle here, call him back, force to run here again, do the lob pass, maybe get that goal there. Nice. He has like decent jumping, so that's why I wanted to attempt that with him. Obviously, dribbling stats like this, if your gameplay is not up to par, will be really bad. <laughs> but, you know, there's no way of uh, for sure knowing that. I'm going to do a chip shot right here. Oh, the goalie actually saves that. I wanted to see if I can make the other defender react there. Why does he trigger so slow right there? It's so strange. I mean, it's probably like another uh, situation where you notice the medium, medium work rates, to be honest. If it was like a high, low or a high medium, you definitely notice him making that run. Or that could just be the game being super weird. Like, it's, it's very strange that he doesn't trigger anything at all, actually. Ooh, timed that one right there. There you go, work that near post angle. Beautiful stuff. I mean, I can tell why Roy says that his uh, dribbling is weird. I, I thought weird as in like, 
I don't know, like, I use, like, Mars' card. Like, Mars has weird dribbling. Like, his dribbling should be way better than what they actually say it is. But with Bakambu, I feel like it's usable. But it is certain situations, like I said, under defenders that you notice it being a little bit weird. All right, guys. So final verdict on the storyline Bakamu card. So if you guys end up choosing to unlock this card for one of your level 15 uh, options for the concept around the card, whether it's the Chinese Super League or uh, the Congo DR for the Balassi link, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can work with with this Bakamu card in your team, like you guys saw with Royce's team. Royce's team is hands down the best team I've used this so far. This is FIFA because of all the links and all the cool stuff you can do with it. But with Bakamu, base card stats for pace is good enough. You don't have to improve that. His finish Finishing is actually really good because of the finisher chemistry style that you give him. Because he is a four-star weak foot minimum, as well as being a right-footed player, he could definitely score the opportunities when given the chance to. Um, his dribbling, his dribbling wasn't that bad. I only noticed his dribbling more under heavy situations from defenders putting that pressure on, right? It wasn't necessarily a huge deal when I was just dribbling regularly with him. I thought he was actually quite solid at it. Uh, not amazing at it, but he was solid at it. Um, I think it's because of the combination of these three not being in the high 90s as well as the 80 composure, which is what causes uh, his dribbling under pressure to be a little bit lackluster, but you could definitely compensate for it. It's one of those things. Uh, his physical presence is nice because he is a six foot tall player. Uh, so that with his uh, physical stats definitely works out really nicely as well. So yeah, the only thing I would say is maybe slap a nice little getting behind instruction on him. But other than that, guys, uh, the card is really fun to use. And I really enjoyed using Royce's team because working a card like this into a squad like that is uh, it's pretty fun, man. It's, it's a cool card. I think Thube surprised me, but Thube comes in third place. I think Duncan for, you know, the type of card you're going to get and maybe potentially a flashback Rebri in the future, Duncan is an easy link with Rebri if they make him that left wing card. Um, medium high worker to player Serie A, but this Bokamu card is actually pretty cool too. But from the rankings, I would say Duncan's first place, second place Bokamu, uh, and then third place is Theo. But obviously Bokamu and Duncan are not too far off of each other. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.